and welcome to Scale Car Garage. Now, I know we still have some things that we have to finish from our workbench, but I felt like doing some scenery. Um, you get in the mood sometimes just to do different things. I'm in the mood for some scenery. So we're gonna take a little bit of a road trip. Um, you know, it's, you learn so much from other hobbies. Uh, for example, learning to paint figures. I learned from um, hobbyists who did military models, some of the best at painting uh, mil at figures because their military figures are just, oh, they're wonderful to look at. When it comes to scenery, I turn to people who do model railroading and the scenery is unbelievable. So let's take a little road trip um, and I'll show you just some great scenery on some really incredible railroad layouts. And let's see if that can inspire us to do some things here uh, in the garage to our track for our scenery. But uh, let's go on a little road trip first on Scale Car Garage. Panther Hobbies is my local hobby shop that, in addition to a wide variety of model kits, slot cars, and accessories, is the go-to place for model railroaders. Okay, so here we are at Panther Hobbies in their back room, if you will, which is where they have their train layouts. On this side, we have their end scale layout, which is incredibly detailed with fantastic scenery. You have to see it to believe it. There's just so much to see. I'm going to give you a taste of, of what it's like. And then over there, they have their HO scale layout, which is a work of art. Um, not only does it have wonderful um, you know, uh, layout scenery that you would expect in, from uh, a canyon, but on the other side, there's also, well, I'll show you. Um, you, 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 you gotta see it. So let, let, let's get started. There's no reason why you can't do this on a slot car track. Come on, let, let's take a look. Let's begin with the end scale layout. There's just so much to see. There's a quarry that leads into a shoreline where ships are docked next to a petroleum refinery. Further down this line is an urban area consisting of buildings that vary in size from homes to multi-level office towers. On the other side of the refinery line is a classic landscape that has been expertly modeled. Let's take a quick ride on a train just to get a feel for the layout. from the conductor's perspective. There are so many vignettes and items to see on this layout that it has to be seen to be properly appreciated. And this quick peek I'm giving you does not give it the justice it deserves. Focusing our attention to the HO scale layout, there's a wonderful description of the area that inspired its construction. The Fraser River Canyon of British Columbia, Canada. This is a two-sided layout with one side depicting the natural landscape of this area and the other modeling a combination of rural, industrial and urban scenes that are just awe-inspiring. Let's get a feel for this layout and ride the rails around it for a bit.
So there you go. Um, end of the road trip for now. Let's head back to Scale Car Garage and maybe we can do a few things on our layout that uh, uh, will help the scenery. I mean, I don't think I can do anything that's even close to what's being done here. I could try, but uh, nothing like a little inspiration to move things forward on the track. So uh, let's go back to the garage. Inspired by our trip to visit the train layouts at Panther Hobbies, I did some work on the Scale Car Garage Layout's park scenery. Specifically, I relocated some of the figures and scenery items to create some vignettes in this area. For example, I added a VW van that would be used by a broadcaster covering a race and created a scene where a driver is being interviewed on camera while technicians are trying to set up and a spectator attempts to photobomb the interview. I also placed various figures and vehicles around the park. An entrance area to the track. Trying to create a feeling of activity. But these are just an attempt to create vignettes inspired by the ones created on the layouts at Panther Hobbies. There's a lot more scenery work that can be done when the mood to do so arises again. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe.